God calls everyone to a vocation. Uh, you know, it might be married life, single life, a religious life, or in, you know, hopefully in my case, the uh, priesthood. How is it different from a career? It's, it's for the rest of your life. It's a, it's a life of service. It's a life of service out of love to our Lord and also to uh, the church, which is the people of God. And, you know, that's, that's really exciting. When I, when I first heard the calling, I've actually heard God calling a couple of other times in my life previous. And I can actually remember thinking, I specifically remember thinking, I hope I'm not called to priesthood. And this is actually when I'm about, probably about 20, 21, maybe 25 as well. And about a year ago, I was at Mass and the priest challenged the congregation, challenged them in asking, have you asked anyone to be a priest? And I thought the priest was talking to me instead of challenging the congregation. And I thought, well, it's... for the first time in my life, I actually considered it as a, as a mature adult considered, is that my vocation, my calling? And I went back to Mass next weekend and I heard it again in a slightly different way. The priest mentioned priesthood and I thought, that's a bit weird. What's he saying there? And I, I really considered it that time. And I got back to my, I talked to someone at Mass, after Mass, and I got back to my motorbike and there was a flyer for discerning the priesthood sitting there and I thought, hang on God, what are you doing? <laughs> and it was one of the youth workers had put it on my bike, she'd heard me. And it was sort of after that, that second and third time that I thought, I'm really going to give this a, a serious, mature, I'm going to give this serious and mature thought and give it serious prayer and actually go and seek out some people, some help in discerning this calling. Initially, the, the first thing that attracted me to the priesthood was the opportunity to stand behind the pulpit and uh, preach to the crowds. <laughs> as, I, as I discerned more and more, I uh, realised that you know, what I'm interested in isn't really what doesn't really what matter, it's what God's got planned for me. The idea of helping people in their spiritual life is, is really uh, important to me now. Knowing that I can make a difference in other people's life and also serve God by uh, carrying out His work on earth, that's, that's the really exciting thing. I've got this cosy little picture in my head at the moment of me being a parish priest in some little country town and I've got the, got the, whole, the whole town comes to, comes to Mass on Sunday morning to worship and I'm, I'm, their, I'm their shepherd helping them along their way in their, in their Christ journey. Fuzzy little picture. <laughs> I'm a red blooded man, definitely a red blooded man, and I'd be I'd be lying to myself if I said I wasn't attracted to women. However, I know that if by but I know that by me answering God's call. I'll, I'll achieve ultimate fulfillment, happiness and love in my life. My friends think I'm a fitness freak. My family think I'm dedicated to whatever I do and I think that's a fair reflection. The ladies of Brisbane think he'd make a good husband. Society probably thinks I'm a little weird. I mean, you got this guy who's was in the army for eight years, been to Afghanistan, boiler maker, personal trainer for, for three or four years. Marathons, Iron Man. I think society thinks I'm pretty weird and probably should go out and get married like every other bloke. But what society doesn't understand is this is not my choice, this is God's choice for me. I'm only saying the yes to God's invitation. I think that I know that this is absolutely what I'm called to. And when I first started discerning the priesthood, this was a question I struggled with. How do I know that this is my vocation? And I've asked a myriad of people. The best way, the easiest way that I know is through my prayer. 
And it's, it's through the feeling in here, that gut feeling that I know God's calling me. God hasn't, God hasn't called out vocally to me, and I don't think he does that. It's through the other areas of life that being mature enough to hear the calling, that, that really, I know that this is what I'm called to do.